You don't need to use paid ads to grow your brand or your fan base. In fact, I'm gonna show you right now for free how you can increase your following and fan base by 2,000 new people in the next 60 days alone without ruining your account with bots, getting shadow banned, or being ripped off by shady promo companies. The same strategy will grow your accounts while giving you more engagement on social media than celebrities such as The Rock, Beyonce, and Mr. Engagement himself, Gary V. I'm also gonna be throwing in a really powerful bonus add-on tip a little bit later, so make sure to watch this entire video. Now, real quick, before I get into the teaching, this is video number three of a six-part series breaking down my magnetic music marketing framework. In the first video, I show you why traditional music marketing really doesn't work to get your voice heard, to build a fan base, or to get paid, and why magnetic music marketing works better than anything else I've ever seen in my career. Then in video number two, I break down exactly how you could start implementing magnetic music marketing to gain more momentum, to get faster results with higher quality connections in very little time, and of course, for free. Also, after you watch this video, if you haven't watched those yet, make sure to go jump back in and check those out. Anyway, what I'm about to show you works, not just for me, but for hundreds of my very own students, including my own team. This system isn't being taught at Harvard, Yale, Columbia, or in any other overpriced Ivy League marketing course, let alone here on YouTube. So grab something to write with because this will be an absolute game changer for you when it comes to building your brand and your fan base online. And you can start doing this right now. All right, guys, so this is easily gonna be one of the most intense trainings that I've ever shared with you on my YouTube channel. So make sure to take some notes, take a break if you have to, pause the video, start it over, watch it all the way through. But one thing I need you to do is implement what I'm gonna go over with, with you. I'm gonna to try to slow down compared to my usual uh, auctioneer style speech pattern. Anyway, our goal with this is to get you 2,000 new followers, fans, whatever, in just 60 days. Now, that goal might be way out there for you guys, but it's absolutely possible. I do it, Ricky does it, copious amounts of my students do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe their goal is to get 1,000 new uh, followers a month, 500, it doesn't matter. What I'm gonna teach you here is the basic math. I'm gonna run through it all, teach you the strategies that you're gonna need to be implementing in order to accomplish that, and then how much time you put in a day uh, how much effort, how much focus, it's all up to you. So if you really get after it, some days you're gonna have way better results. If Some days if you have other stuff to do, don't get down on yourself. But this is going to be how to do it if you're an absolute machine that actually wants to build a brand and isn't afraid of social media and isn't afraid of a little bit of work. Shall we? So first thing we have to do on any goal like this is we have to deconstruct it. That's what I like to do. That's what I highly recommend you do. If you have a financial goal, well, what does that look like per month? What does that look like per day in order to reach that goal? Same thing here, right? 2,000 new fans, 2,000 new followers. And quick side note, you might be saying right now, Adam, followers aren't fans. You're teaching people just how to get empty followers. You might as well go buy and buy. No based on the value follow formula that I taught you in the last video, we're going to have higher quality followers that are easily convertible, easy to convert into fans because they already give a shit, they already care. So what we wanna do is we wanna take these numbers, break it down, and I'm gonna do that right now. So what does 2,000 new followers in 60 days look like? Well, that's 33 people a day. But if you don't wanna be looking at the macro every single day, the micro numbers, and you wanna look at it every week, what does that look like? Well, it looks like 231. Now, on the you know, topic of averages, right? I want you to know right now that you're not going to get 33 new followers tomorrow, and you, you might, right? If you already have a decent sized following and you've been doing this and you just ramp up your efforts, you very well might, but if you look at it as far as ramping up, as far as growing, and maybe you surpass the 60 days, maybe you're 90 days, 120 days out, and then you find yourself at three, four, five thousand 5,000 new followers, and maybe you consider 2,000, 3,000 of them actual fans. That's how it all starts. You have to convert somebody to that. But the way that we're breaking this all down is based on a 20% conversion rather than the 10% that I taught in the uh, kind of antiquated 1,000 fans in 90 days video that I did two or three years ago. Don't get me wrong, those strategies still work, but Buddy, we've been refining those for the last couple of years, and, and this is the real sauce right here. So a 20% conversion would equal 33 a day if you have 165 actions a day, action being a like and a comment. So I'm gonna write that down. So 165 actions a day. 
take notes in any way, shape, or form you want, because it's going to be kind of chaotic. Now, 165 actions is a like and a comment on 165 different posts. Now, holy crap, Adam, like, <laughs> I can never do that. It takes me about 20 minutes, three times a day to do this myself. Ricky takes about a half an hour. So it's going to be a little bit slow going at first, just like anything. You weren't very good at making music day one, right? Guitar, you learned one chord. It took you months to kind of get fluid at it. This is the same way. We're going to jump in, become more efficient, become more of a uh, just a habitual machine when it comes to this stuff in an authentic way, in a genuine tone, right? We don't want to post on anybody that we're not interested in. If we see somebody, uh, they posted a video, they posted something that you're just really not feeling and you're like, I don't want to comment on this. Trust your gut and keep moving on. No different than you wouldn't want people commenting on your stuff just to comment. So put it out into the universe that you care about these posts and people that care about your posts will come to you. So how do we get to 165 actions every single day? Well, we have to break that down into three different time blocks. Now you can do this through the course of the day. You can break it into five minutes when you just get up and 10 minutes when you're waiting for your breakfast to cook or when you get to work and you're waiting to punch in or if you have a really cool boss and he doesn't care what you're doing in between tasks or calls or whatever, just kind of fiddle it through. But I want you to keep something in mind, 30, 30, 30. 90 minutes a day is all you need to accomplish this once you're up and running. Uh, and in the comments below, when you come back and do this for a few months, let me know how it's worked because I know that even myself, it was slow going at first and then slowly but surely you work your, you work your way into a habit, right? It becomes habitual. So 30, 30, 30. So 30, 30, 30. And the reason that we do this is the first 30 is for hashtags. Second 30 is for accounts. And the third 30 is hashtags again. Always do that. So the first 30 minutes, you want to look for 10 different accounts, uh, 10 different hashtags rather, and then comment on five posts per hashtag. So quick math, 50, right? Go through 50. When it comes to targeted hashtags, I have a lot of different videos. I'll have a video in the description box below uh, where you can go and get a lot better idea as far as how to find those hashtags. But if you're a producer, you could use producers of IG, bedroom producer, uh, hip hop producer, trap, like, there's a whole lot of different options and side note, if you have a hard time finding hashtags, search one hashtag and then find one of the popular posts, go through their posts or a few, and then copy and paste those hashtags. There's gonna be a boatload of variety there that you'll be able to go through over the this, this 60 uh, day time frame, And you can use these on a consistent basis, but make sure that you're cycling through. We don't wanna be the guy that just has three hashtags and we, kind of, we keep kind of overloading every single post. Um, that's not the way to do this. We ultimately want 10 hashtags in, in the early morning in those 30 minutes or whenever you do this. Uh, you wanna go after five of those hashtags with 10 comments, actions each, like and a comment. Now, when you're doing these comments, don't just go through, like I say all the time, with a fire emoji. Don't go through and just say, dope, nice shot, great pick. Or one of my pet peeves, dope, dope post. You want to get sponsorship? Uh, go like and comment or send us a DM. Like, I get those all the time. It makes my brain literally want to explode. So find 10 hashtags and break it up in the course of a whole day. Uh, keep in mind, there is one rule that I want you to keep in mind. Write it huge on the piece of paper that you're writing on right now or the notebook or whatever you're doing. And that's this. No more than 59 actions, and I'll explain that in a second, in one hour. No more than 59 actions per hour on Instagram unless you want to get action blocked. We've learned by mistake. We've learned from experience. You don't want to do more than 59 actions. And I, I say actions, uh, and maybe that's not the greatest terminology, but I say actions for a like and a comment. That's one action. If you go through and like 60 people's things and then leave 60 comments on, on different posts, then those would be individual actions. But one like and one comment on one post equals one action. So we don't want to go over 59. In fact, my rule of thumb for this especially is 55 per hour. No more. You don't have to get you know, it doesn't have to be within 60 minutes, but no more than 55 per hour. Now, if you look at 30, 30, 30, that's three. What is 55 times three? 
165, which happens to be the 165 actions a day. Now we're breaking this down in very easy math. This is going to take you a little bit of time to do, but follow along. So what do you do after the 30 hashtags are, or the 30 minutes of hashtagging uh, actions are done for the day? Well, you go about your life and a little bit later you spend 30 minutes on accounts. Now, what are accounts? Accounts are like accounts, similar accounts to what you offer, right? So let's say for example's sake, you're a producer, you make trap beats, and you know a lot of other producers that make trap beats as well that might be a little bit more successful than you, maybe a little bit more well-known. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, Sunny Digital. It doesn't have to be Timbaland. It doesn't have to be one of these huge producers like a David, David Foster, Scott Storch, or David Storch. I don't know who he is, but he might be producing music right now. In fact, David, if you're watching this, leave a comment. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to find those accounts. We want to find seven accounts a day, seven accounts every single day. It doesn't have to be seven different accounts. So sorry if that was confusing. We want to have a list of different accounts, cycle through them, but you want to go through seven. And then what you want to do through is every one of those accounts, as long as they're active, also make sure that they haven't been on hiatus for six months because that's not helping anybody. We want to make sure that they're an active account that has a booming a uh, little ecosystem themselves. They have a really active fan base, a follower base, uh, and a bunch of people that are interacting with them. So what we want to do is we want to find those similar accounts, go through seven other posts. So seven accounts, seven posts a day in this 30 minutes. And what we want to do is we want to do an action, a like and a comment, a genuine comment on somebody's comment. So we don't just want to comment on their posts. What we want to do is, you know what, let, let me take a quick second and I'm going to erase some of this and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Feel free to go back and take a screenshot if I'm erasing valuable notes for you. So when it comes to accounts, similar accounts every single day. We want seven of them. And then we would want to do their seven, uh, seven accounts, seven posts, right? So seven by seven equals 49. What we want to do there is we want to then go into their comments. So commenters. Is it commenters or commentors? Anyway, we want to go into the comments. Big old S there. And we want to interact with the comments that our people are leaving because this is what it's going to do. Think of the psychology of marketing. If I'm a fan of my buddy Superstar O, which I am, he's also one of my great, a great friend of mine. So if I'm a fan of his and I go in and I'm leaving a genuine comment, something that I want him to see, then I'm already an active user. I'm already in line with what he's doing. And they know that I'm an active follower that's really uh, vocal about my support. So that's what we want, right? So if I'm a producer, I want some vocal support like that. If I make music similar, it doesn't have to be copycat stuff, but I want this person to discover me and I want to be able to build a little bit of a rapport with them. So if they left an engaging comment, maybe I'll say something back to them. Maybe they said something along the lines of, you know, bro, you kill it in the studio every single day. I don't know how you do it. And then, you know, I can go and leave a comment to that comment and say, I don't know, but O's videos always make me feel lazy. Am I right? And then that person, yeah, man. And then it starts a conversation. That's going to lead to them coming to your account. That's going to lead to them saying, Who, who's this guy, right? If somebody comes up to you at the gym and they come into a conversation and maybe one of your buddies that you know, you're not familiar with this person, but that person knows them, then I'm like, hey, and I introduce myself. Next thing you know, I'm familiar with this person. So that's what we want to do. We want to be interacting with a lot of different accounts, a lot of different varieties. So don't go through and interact with the same person. Now, I know that this might sound confusing. At first, that might be uh, not making a whole lot of sense, but go through and start doing it. And then you'll say, ah, that makes sense why we're doing this. Even go to my comments, find somebody that's active on my comments, like leave an action on my comments and then see how many people interact. Because I'm sure every time I teach you guys something, you make me the guinea pig on my account. Anyway, I digress. We have 49 actions, right? So if we did 50 here, I'm gonna just kind of throw this out, 50 here, and then we do it again with 50 different hashtags, what is this? It's 149 total actions. Now, if we have 149 total actions throughout the course of the day, what we're doing is we're getting close to that 165 number that's here, 
And then what I want you to do is I want you to go through and just go through your discovery and like people when you're doing that, right? I want you to be able to expand. I want to go. Th I want you to go through and feed the algorithm. Tell Instagram, you know what? I like this stuff. I'm gonna go through my explore page and say, you know what? I like this post. And you can do that for 15 or 16, 16 if I can do my math correctly. I want you to go through 16. I'm gonna call them randos. Because those are things that Instagram are showing you on purpose based on the algorithm and based on people that you're already interacting with. They're trying to have you discover other things. So go through reels, go through Instagram stories. Don't send DMs out to people. Go through and interact with content that you genuinely enjoy. I know as music creators, it's easy to say, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna look up producers and then I'm gonna go look up artists and songwriters. But you might be into fashion, you might be into watches, you might be into movies, you might be into a whole lot of other things. And I think with mental health, it's so important to kind of expand past that and say, you know what, I wanna interact with people that like pumpkin carving. Maybe they like dogs, I love dogs. If you ever wanna see me snap out a cool guy mode, I don't think I'm there very often, but show me a dog and I'm gonna pet the hell out of the dog. I'm the guy at the party who's interacting with the dogs. Now, I want you guys to be able to go through this and make sense of it, right? The 30, 30, 30, be able to go through uh, no more, like I said, no more than 55 actions per hour because this is what I want you to do. And I'm going to erase some more stuff. So still follow along with me here. As we go, that 20% conversion on 165 is 33. So I don't know if I broke that down earlier, but a 20% conversion on 165 actions a day equals 33 new followers a day on average. This might not be your goal. You might say, you know what, Adam, if I got a thousand in two months, I would be super happy. I'd be, you know, beside myself. Maybe 500 would change your life. I just want you guys to understand what's possible when you really dedicate yourself. My numbers, I average well over a thousand followers every single month doing just this. And honestly, when you start to grow your account, you start to be, you start to begin to see exponential growth on some level. Then all of a sudden it goes like this and then it starts raising. And then right here, maybe you have to do half the work for twice the ROI. This is how it all works, guys. You know, I don't go through every single day and do this. There's days where I don't do any hashtagging. There's days that I don't interact with any other accounts aside from thanking people for my uh, comments in the DMs and stuff like that. But you get to a point where I call it the flip, the flipping of the switch. You could flip the switch. It's, it's a great example when you look at the guys like The Rock, right? He has less than 1% engagement on 100 and 99 million followers. You can look at the, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Gary V. No matter what he's pushing, no matter how many uh, 85, 90,000 different pieces of content that he's putting out every day and telling you to do the same, you don't need to do that to grow first and foremost, but he has about a 1% engagement rate. So, you know, with, with the team and I experiencing three to 10% engagement, students experiencing the same, you know, you can look at an account like Beyonce, with the hundreds of millions of people that are following her and she barely has a 2% engagement rate. This is really where your eyes open to understand that, okay, at some point, I don't have to put in all this footwork, but I have to get there in order to start experiencing it. So 2,060 days, absolutely possible. And like I said, maybe you'll end up with 1,800, maybe you'll end up with 3,600. It all depends on this conversion number. If you convert 40%, if you convert 60%, if you convert 10%, it's all gonna be based on your averages. So make sure that you go out and you understand that the engagement, the quality, follow the VFF formula or the VFF in general, it's the value follow formula. And I'm gonna have a link in uh, the video underneath this to go check that out after this video. But this is how you get to 2000 new followers, turn them into fans in 60 days. Are you up for the challenge? Let me know. Let's get back to the studio. Now, if you enjoyed that breakdown and found value in this video, then I have some really good news. In my upcoming Sell Music Masterclass 2.0, I'll be giving away all my most guarded secrets, the tips, the strategies, and techniques, such as my inbound music marketing formula, my advanced video marketing framework, and my social media domination blueprint, just to name a few. 
Registration once again opens to the public on October 19th, and this is by far one of the most up-to-date trainings I've ever released. It contains everything I've ever learned about magnetic music marketing and the systems that I've developed around it. Now, in my next video, I'll break down the entire plan from the beginning to the end, what you need to know and what you need to follow to have your voice heard, build an adoring fan base, and get paid doing what you love to do the most, music. I'm literally ripping down the curtain and showing you every single step that you have to take. You're not going to want to miss that video because I'll be sharing the complete game plan with you. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to get your name on that early bird waiting list for my upcoming Cell Music Masterclass 2.0 if you haven't yet. Now go take action on what you just learned and I'll see you in the next video.